Hi, uh, my name is Elisaveta, and within upcoming 19 images, I'm going to tell you about Open Design City. It's um, a creative workshop in Better House, Berlin. So to start with, as I already mentioned, we are actually a part of Better House, and uh, Better House was um, a creative initiative of five young, freshly graduated smarties, uh, which at the moment actually occupies four floors of this huge pixel building, uh, which is telling you that you look good. Um, to tell a little bit more about what Better House actually is, uh, it is a co-working space, so um, just a place where people rent a desk and work on their own projects. Uh, but obviously there is more to it. Um, Better House was a clear response to um, new demands and new way of ways of living of the new generation of creators. So um, people needed a new space where they could collaborate, um, work on their ideas and be surrounded with an inspiring atmosphere of like-minded people, be a part of an innovative community. Uh, so at the moment there are actually over 200 people working in the space and uh, those are professionals of all various fields from uh, IT technology up to video artists. And uh, from the very beginning it was clear that a creative workshop is really an essential uh, facility in such a space. So in 2010, uh, there was actually an attempt to create one. Um, it was needed for designers to work on their prototypes, to uh, develop the first samples of the design, and uh, maybe for people even just to, I don't know, build a chair for themselves. I had a lot of uh, new innovative projects coming out of it, as well as a really amazing um, spirit in the space. Um, however, over the time we grew a little bit more professional, I needed to sort of take it to the new level. So we cleaned up a little of creative mess around and um, brought in a whole brand new atmosphere into the space. New tools, new ways of storage, new ways of working in the space, new ways um, of collaborating and creating new projects and ideas. So to start with, we actually created the whole new setup of the space. Um, sort of we tried to make it in a way that boxes would kind of talk for themselves and say, hey, please put the scissors back into me. And we wanted the people when entering the space to really get a wow feeling like, yeah, that's really the space where I could make something. And secondly, it was obviously essential to bring in all the brand new tools. So we've got the first tool, um, Makeabot 3D printers, which are actually the dream tools for makers. And um, on top of that, we actually um, taught people how to use them in exactly right way so that they can get exactly best out of it. Um, but another challenge to solve was actually to open up the space in a way, to um, give access for creatives working in the space to the outside community. So we've launched uh, an online design store called Build or Buy and provided two options, either just to buy the design product or actually attend the workshop and learn directly from the designer um, the exact skill how to make it and further on prototype, build upon, create. Um, Buying didn't exactly work so great. Over a few months we sell, sold maybe two products, but building really rocked. So at some point we have uh, got over 15 workshops and thought, hmm, that's exactly the right moment to start making festivals out of it. And that's actually how the concept of Make a Weekend Festivals was born. So um, it's a weekend where with over 15 workshops on absolutely different topics condensed in one exact space. And of course, an awesome, amazing experimentation party in the end of it, where people could actually implement their skills. Yet, that was not the end. Uh, as a follow-up, we, um, on top of that, have created um, an actual education platform. Uh, we gave the creators who were working in the space an opportunity to become teachers and to share their knowledge on a very serious basis. And uh, what was essentially important for us um, was to erase any kind of segregation. So. All the workshops and courses are happening in the single space, so people learning Arduino can meet um, students of fashion design course or woodworking course and find ways to collaborate and work on projects together, find in which way their new skills are actually complementary to each other. Their courses um, run from four to eight sessions and they actually provide not only the basic knowledge about the subject, but also um, the launch of the way you're gonna work on your projects further on. How do you actually start creating your own things? So the space itself also functions um, as a working space on devoted times. So you could come along and just work on your own stuff um, together with professionals of the field. And in the end, the whole um, 
experience of learning is about trial and error. And the more professional are people around you at the stage when you have a challenge, the less error you're going to have in your trial. Um, we also create um, a lot of experimentation sessions. It's super important not to get the feeling of fear when you want to try something new, something totally unknown, something which might even sound silly from the very beginning. And um, actually, out of these silly experiments, most awesome projects ever are born. And this is the reason why we hold um, experimentation sessions where people just come together and just do it. And uh, once you got the knowledge and you know in which exact direction you want to move your project, it's actually time to just make it happen. So for this, as uh, you probably remember, we have the space, the tools, the community, and uh, moreover events where you can present to public your final result. So more or less, we have it all, just make the stuff. Um, thank you very much for your attention. And if you'll at some point drop by Berlin, feel free to come around to our place. And also, if you'll have any questions, uh, feel free to drop me a line and I'll gladly send you over some links and tell you a little bit more about Open Design City and our education platform.